Yo, 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 what's up everyone, it's your one and only PSGD, and today it's time for two multiplayer. Now, I've done the PSGD review, but basically, I just wanted to put some thoughts around stuff that I enjoy doing when I'm multiplayering. Now, Titanfall 2 comes from the guys that did Modern Warfare 1 and 2, and were famously outed from Activision in this big deal. Anyway... They basically went build Titanfall 1, which was exclusive to Xbox, and now they built number 2. Now, with that comes a whole bunch of familiarity and simplicity. And it's like right here, right as we look at it right now. It's like, check out your character. You've got these specific components to it. There's nothing too crazy. There's nothing too complicated. And here's a whole bunch of different colored weapons that you can have. Now... One of the things that everyone did when they prestiged in Modern Warfare slash Modern Warfare 2 was they went and changed the colours of their weapons. And as soon as I saw that particular customization screen, I was like, wow, it's Modern Warfare 1, 2 all over again. It's, it's like, it's really cool, right? It's really good to have, you know, I think it is anyway. Like, to have the soul, like you can tell the soul of Modern Warfare 1 and 2 has been left intact by these two guys leaving Activision and moving on and making this game. And it's all come across, right? If you've played them, you'll know and you'll be able to feel it straight away. But anyway, I want to move along a little bit to the Finder game area. And for people who haven't looked, there's a whole bunch of different games. Now, it seems to be most people jump into Bounty Hunt and Attrition. Attrition is just like PvP. PvP, yeah, and that's that's it, you don't do anything else, but Bounty Hunt, you basically get dropped into an environment where you've got AI and regular people, and you sort of fight over things, you bank money that you earn by killing the enemy as being a private contractor, and the first person, the first team to a certain amount of money wins the game. So, like, I've loved getting into Titanfall 2 multiplayer, to tell you the truth, I've, you know, I sit here at this desk and I'm really enjoying a whole bunch of different games, but I, I kind of feel like Titanfall 2 is the whole Modern Warfare 1 and 2 thing that I had so many years ago. There was nothing really laid in the piece that I really enjoyed in terms of multiplayer, and it just felt, it just feels like Titanfall's kind of filled that gap for me. There's also stuff that I really love doing in Titanfall, right? Like. I'm not the best or the greatest M uh, PvP player, so what I've really enjoyed about this is that you can fit out your pilot accordingly. And I just got that guy's battery, I love doing that, that is so cool. You see that grapple hook go across to the Titan, you get on top of it, you go in there, you rip the battery out and off goes his health. Now, that's something which I was just sort of getting to before I got sidetracked is I just, I like the way that you can customise your sort of playstyle. It's, it's, it's not, it's not overly complicated either. It's just like, some of the things that I find good is you can sort of put a modifier on which helps your hit fire. So I'm not really good at always bringing up the weapon and hitting someone. So if I've got increased accuracy for hit fire, I can sort of not adjust my playstyle massively and continue through an environment and shoot from the hip and probably or have a high percentage of hitting them and, and that helps me. And I love this. <coughs> yeah, the Titan. Love calling in the Titan. Fire out, it's so cool. It's just epic. So there's a lot of different maps, there's a lot of different playstyles, there's different Titans, and there's different pilots. And We've talked about free DLC before, there is some stuff coming soon, which is awesome. I'm so glad that we don't have to pay for a season pass, I think they've definitely made the right move there. It's beneficial to the playing community, and I think it's refreshing for us too. It's not something where we have to consider, oh right, okay, so I'm going to pay, let's just say 79 for the game, AU, and now I'm going to have to fork out another 60 for a season pass. Do I really want to do that? And do I know if the game's travelling okay or not? These guys just like, hey, check it out. Like, why not just have the game and the season pass all for one? And hopefully their sales are going poorly. But yeah, guys, I've rambled on and talked way too much. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And please like and subscribe to the PSGD YouTube channel. And until next time, guys, enjoy Titanfall 2. It's only $36 at Target this Friday.